Young Earth creationists believe that the Earth is less than 6,000 years old, and there is a very good reason for that. I use the information that I found in the Bible to build the timeline that you see here. It's a record from the creation of Adam to the birth of Jesus. Each one of these lines represents a year, and there are 3,839 lines between here and here. So Jesus was born 3,839 years after God created Adam. If we add 3,839 years from Adam to Jesus to 2008, the year that we live in, we find that we have a detailed historical record that shows that man has only been on earth for less than 6,000 years. Next to each event, I've shown the scripture verse reference. When Adam was 130 years old, he had a son who was named Seth, Genesis 5.3. That takes us from here to here. We can compute the first 2,000 309 years from Adam to Moses by simply adding the ages of the dads when their sons were born. Then, when Seth was 105 years old, he had a son named Enos, Genesis 5-6, and so on. Enos had Canaan when he was 90. Seventy years and seventy lines later, Canaan had Mahalaleel and so on, and so on. And we have that type of reference from Adam to the birth of Noah and Abraham and up to the time of Moses. Genealogies of real people. Dads, grandpas, sons, military leaders, judges, politicians, kings. And this wasn't one of those deals where Someone tells something to someone and they get it a little wrong when they pass it on to the next person. Two people were alive to tell most of the story from here to here. The genetically perfect Adam lived for 930 years. He walked with God in the Garden of Eden and was there to tell Seth, Enos, Canaan, Mahalaleel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, and Lamech, who was Noah's dad. Then Lamech, who died five years before the flood at the age of 777 years, was there to teach Noah for 595 years. And Noah lived 950 years, Genesis 9.29. 600 years before the flood and 350 years after the flood, Genesis 9.28, long enough to teach Abraham, who lived for 175 years, Genesis 25.8. So they would have been around to teach. Adam was genetically perfect, would have been one of the most capable teachers that ever lived able to teach all that he had learned in his long lifetime and all that he had learned when he walked with God in the Garden of Eden. But Moses finally wrote it down in 2448 a.m. All that happened from here to here using written language that was developed around 1800 B.C. And the rest of the information was recorded by people that lived at the time of the event. Of course, evolutionists reject this. They say modern man has been here for about 160,000 years. 26 of these chunks. But here's my question. We can trace the origin of everything that we have in the 21st century back to its development during this 6,000-year period. Electronics, math, writing, 
construction techniques, metallurgy, medical procedures, everything. We know that all this happened here. So, what was going on here? <laughs> 